Hey, you, the one looking for more purpose in your life, here's what that restlessness is all about. You see, there's a God-sized dream knocking on the door of your heart. Now, before you say, oh, that's too big, <laughs> let me assure you, God-sized dreams aren't about size at all. They're about the desires that God places within you that perfectly fit your heart. God-sized dreams, they're an essential part of who you were created to be and what you were created to do. Now is your time. Now is your time. So, what are you going to do with it? Hmm? The clip I just shared with you was a reciting of something that I came across in March of 2013 and I put it in my notepad on my iPhone back in 2013 and the beauty of technology is it stayed with me this whole time and I came across it the other day and I thought you know this week in my group we're back to the topic of purpose and that little writing just jumped out of my notepad at me I'm telling you you know things are you know in chronological order so I can't explain how it popped to the top, but there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I can't take credit for the words. It was from a devotional, like I said, a devotional that I read in 2013. So the author of the words was actually Holly Girth, and she's a writer from the Proverb, bleh, Proverbs 31 Ministries, a devotional I get every day. Anyways, I re recording this as two separate pieces because I want to be able to reuse that first segment in a couple of different places, but I wanted to explain where it came from. Didn't want you to think that I had cleverly come up with those words myself. No, I did memorize it and deliver it, but whatever. But I thought it was really impactful just to think that you have a God-sized dream inside of you that's knocking on the door of your heart. And then it was put there by your creator. And it perfectly matches up with your heart, your heart, what you were created to be, who you were created to be, and what you were created to do. Boy, I knew the words better when I recited it, didn't I? <laughs> Anyways, now is your time. Now is my time. I really want to encourage people to, to sort of think beyond the day-to-day. -day. It's so easy to get wrapped up in schedules and I know I was super busy today because of a technical glitch in my business that caused me to spend time like about eight times longer doing everything that I had to do today. So it was a growing experience for me, shall we say. You know, never ask for patience because you'll be given opportunities to develop it. And that pretty much summed up, summed up my day. But anyways, I hope that little clip encouraged you and reminded you that everybody on this earth was created with a purpose. They were given that you were created with a purpose. You were given the time that you're given to be here, the talents that you have, and the treasures that you have. So I hope you are putting those to good use. And if you're building a business to serve others like I am, I hope you'll find a way to encourage them to do the same thing. So that's it for tonight. Take care. God bless.